Hello and welcome to my own face poser tutorial. I've made this after many requests from people who have seen my YouTube videos and uh, so hopefully this will result in um, more people making face poser machinima and such because I truly believe that if everyone knew how cool this tool was there would be much more machinima out that used it. Um, this first chapter is going to simply be using the lip syncing to show you how to match up sounds to your character's lips. Um, so anyway, here are the programs you're going to need. First off, you're going to need a program like Audacity for recording the sound. Um, I chose this because it's open source. Obviously, if you have your own expensive, shiny sound recorder, you can use that. Um, the Microsoft Speech SDK, which you can download from the Microsoft site. Um, you'll get errors and extraction if you don't download this. Um, and uh, yeah, you can find it with a simple Google search. And finally, the source SDK. To install that, just um, go to Steam and go to Tools, install source SDK, and um, just an extra note, um, as of right now, which is December 2007, the SDK requires the launch parameters dash E-N-G-I-N-E -E space EP1, like EP1. Um, in order for you to use um, a game like Half-Life 2 or Episode 1 or one of the older games because all the Orange Box games use a slightly different version of the engine. Um, so that's what I'm using for now until I know that they have that SDK in a fully working order. And also Windows XP. It won't work in Windows Vista. I learned that the hard way. Alright, so first off the actual recording. You need to check Audacity's options here, and um, just make sure that you have it in the format that you need it to be in. Um, the best one is 44 kilohertz and sample format of 16-bit. Um, I can't remember if it's worked without that, but it may end up working in Face Poser, like without converting the sound, but it might then not work in the game, so you want to make sure you have this set ahead of time. Um, so, alright, I'm just going to say here, uh, make sure this is set to the right thing. Alright, testing one, two. Okay, right. So I'm just going to say now that you're all ignorant bitches who don't deserve my tutorial. You're all ignorant bitches who don't deserve my tutorial. Alright, there. You just heard that coming out of my speakers into my microphone. Which is probably why it sounded so crackly or something. Alright, so, um... I'm just going to click up, trim off the click sound from my mouse. And, uh... Let's see what else we should do here. Also, um, I'm just going to do a bit of noise reduction here. I don't have too much to work with, but um, it's a simple effect in Audacity that can help make your sounds um, sound a bit better. Um, my microphone's already a bit high quality, so I'm just not going to do too much here. And that uh, just makes it sound a bit better. Alright, so I'm going to save this in uh, my Half-Life 2 directory under Sound. Uh, you can see I have a lot of stuff here already. Um, so I'm just going to save it as ignorant. Okay, now from the SDK, choose Face Poser. Uh, make sure you have the right game selected that you want to use. Um, Alright, what you'll see now is the main Face Poser window. Um, first thing you're going to do to synchronize your sound is go to the phoneme editor down in these tabs here or just go up to window phoneme editor and you'll be able to see it um, this is what um, extracts like the word data like what letter or what sound is at each point in the word um, so you're going to click load and go to your sound here for me it's ignorant.wave and um, so now you're going to hit re-extract and here you type in um, like the exact wording of what was just said like 
For me, it's, you're all ignorant bitches who don't deserve a tutorial, and you'll try to fill it in as best it can. Um, sometimes if it messes up just like that, um, then uh, you can change it to be a bit more phonetic. Like, some, some words don't uh, sound the way they are, or the way they should be, but um, you can fix it by just, like, sort of misspelling it so that it is spelt as it sounds. And that sometimes helps it, but first just try it with normal spelling, because um, I used to try to do that far too much, and it actually ended up confusing the extractor more than helping it. Anyway, let's see how this goes. And uh, thankfully that was successful, it says in green down here. Um, it, there are three things it can do. If it doesn't recognize anything at all and it's just confused, then it gives you red and it won't show anything up here. If it's yellow, then it means that it was able to get word data out, but it's not sure if it's completely right. I mean, it could be pretty much fine, which is why you should listen to it first. But, um... Alright, to see if the lip sync matches up correctly, right-click up here and click Commit Extraction. And that'll set it there. And so, um, now when we hit play, we should be able to see this guy try it out. Alright, and that seemed pretty good. If you have any problems with the phonemes, you can edit them like this. Like, say there's supposed to be a Y after this L. You would right-click it, click Insert Phoneme, and uh, it gives you a whole list of them. Um, it's not just letter by letter. They're all different sounds. Um, and so um, this, uh, this you're going to have to get used to, just... Um, which sound is appropriate for which, uh, you know. Anyway, afterwards you just hit save, and then it'll associate it directly with that wave. Um, and so then, uh, later on, you'll be able to add it to the choreography here, but that that's for another day, I guess. Um, oh yeah, another thing that I'm just going to ask you to remember is that the... All this data of, like, the sounds um, is actually stored within the WAV file. So if you want someone else to work on stuff for you, send them the .wav. Or, alternatively, um, if you ever want to um, move this word data to another file, like, say, one that has fixed volume or um, a fixed bit rate, then uh, you right-click it. Click export word data to the TXT and then just make it there. And then you can obviously just import it back. Um, that pretty much covers it, um, at least for today. Uh, next lesson, I'll be showing you like how to choreograph stuff. Um, and uh, oh yeah, don't forget the homework.